Hey you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the way that I look right now, I just finished laying out. I am all nice and rosy, sunburnt, bronzed, red, whatever you want to call the way that I look right now. But I just spent the entire day outside in my backyard by the pool, laying out, being in the pool, having lunch with my mom and my brother's girlfriend, Mag. It is now 6.25 and I am inside, obviously, and about to go in the shower and get ready for my night. I am meeting up with Ella and Jordan for dinner tonight and I just wanna bring you guys along on my night and also share with you a little bit of me getting ready. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of makeup because I am going out and I haven't gotten ready in such a long time but also I don't really get ready fully when it's summer because I want to let the tan have its moment and really just be nice and glowy. So I want to share with you guys my glowy summer makeup routine for nights like tonight when I am going out and want to look a little bit more put together and not like I just got off the beach, although that is a cute vibe sometimes. But for tonight, I want to put a little bit of makeup on and just share with you guys what it looks like and also my hair routine. I haven't fully decided what I'm doing with my hair yet, whether I do a ponytail or a bun, but I will show you guys and share with you a little bit of how that looks. I think I'm just gonna like wet my hair and put a lot of conditioner in it because I'm just gonna have it slicked with more product so I'm not gonna do a wash because it would just be so pointless and I'll probably be in the pool again tomorrow so why wash it? I think I washed it yesterday or two days ago but I definitely don't wash it every day so today won't be a wash day but I'm still gonna tame it a little because it is very knotty and just crunchy from the salt water in my pool. So yeah I'm so excited to see them and go grab some dinner at a very yummy restaurant. Yeah I actually saw Jordan yesterday because she stopped by the EP Jewels office but I haven't seen Ella in so freaking long and and I'm excited to see them and just catch up and hang out. So yeah, I'm gonna get in the shower and I'll see you when I'm out. But I can't believe how much color I got. This is like color I would get if I'm like away on a tropical ass island and I'm here on Long Island in New York. So this is very just also, before I get a million questions, my bikini is from Tiger Mist and they have the absolute cutest bikinis ever and they fit so amazing. I'm wearing a size small on the top and a small on the bottom. So I'm now out of the shower and I'm going to be putting on these two creams. This one, if you guys know me, you know this has been my favorite for the past year and a half. It is the PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion from CeraVe and this is the new Road Barrier Restore Cream. I have been using this every day for the past week-ish since I've gotten it in the mail and I am absolutely in love with it. This is actually running super low so I'm gonna just scrape the bottom and get every last little drop. I do have like 10 of these in my draw because I just can't go without it but I know there's a lot of product at the bottom. If you guys are looking for a really nice, affordable cream, I highly recommend this one more than anything. Next, I'm gonna go in, like I said, with the Rode Cream. I didn't get my hands on the peptide glaze. That was the number one product, obviously, because it was the first thing to sell out. But I find that my skincare routine already makes me look like a glazed donut. So although I would love to own that product and I will be buying it when they restock, I'm not mad about the way that all these other products make my skin look. So I find that this is like the perfect little duo for this summer season and under makeup and everything. Obviously skincare is so important and having your skin nice and moisturized and hydrated from being in the sun and everything like that. It's super important to have a nice base. And now for the third and last skincare product before we get into makeup and such is the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. And I'm sure you've seen this Elta brand all over online and everybody pretty much uses it by now because it's just that amazing. You can still get color even with wearing SPF. It actually makes your color look even better because it's not 
burnt. You may think I'm burnt right now, which I kind of am, but this is with SPF every day. So yeah, my skin always gets red before it gets tan. That's not anything new to me, but if I wasn't wearing SPF these past few days laying in the sun, you would be able to tell my skin would be bubbly and blistery and just not it. This is actually very good color for me. Okay, so I'm all done with my skincare for right now. And before I do my makeup, I think I'm going to do my hair. Pro tip for a slick back, ponytail bun, any of the sort. Working with either super dirty and oily hair or wet hair, I personally find to be the easiest. When your hair is clean and dry, it is the most difficult to tame and to get slick and clean looking. So before my hair dries, I think I'm gonna slick it and do all of that and then get into my makeup. This stuff has been my absolute best friend. This is now my second bottle of this and I will be repurchasing it. I use this every single day after I get out of the shower and when my hair is wet, it smells literally like candy. I genuinely want to eat it. It makes my hair so soft and so easy to brush through and it's also so moisturizing. Also, this video is just not sponsored. I genuinely love this product and all of the products that I'm going to be talking about. So yeah, I'm just gonna brush through my hair. So I think that that's pretty centered. Correct me if I'm wrong because this camera like inverts my face when I'm editing it. So I hope it's as centered as possible, but basically obviously get the part where you want it. And I typically do like three quarters of my part line and then I brush the rest back. Before I put it all up, I'm going to be using this little leave-in product from the brand Ceremonia. I actually got it from The Real Real, which is so random, but I don't know where else you can get this. I'll leave it linked down below for you. And this is a perfect alternative for gel or anything like that. I'm not really in the mood to put gel in my hair. I don't want it to look too hard or too slick because we're not going anywhere super fancy and I don't think I'm gonna wear anything too crazy so I don't want my hair to look like extra slick and extra perfect. This stuff smells amazing and I'm just gonna pump a whole bunch and just kind of like lay it throughout my hair, putting my fingers through it and just like totally lathering this throughout my hair. I'm gonna put even more. This stuff literally smells so incredible, it's not even funny. And from here, I'm just gonna take it all from behind my ears and hold it up where I want it. Kind of just brush it straight back, not up or down. You should have enough product in to the point where it like works and your hair is listening to where you're putting it, but it's not too tamed, if you know what I mean. So taking the other side and just doing the same thing, combing into place flattening out and just really getting it where we want it and then going in with our fingers and kind of just flattening it out even more. I'm already out of breath and my hands are hurting. Obviously this takes a lot of practice. I pretty much do this hairstyle every single day of my life. I never wear my hair down anymore. So if you don't get this on your first try, don't be frustrated. I promise because it can get so freaking frustrating. You will get it and practice makes perfect. Even I mess up sometimes and it takes me literally a half hour. Try not to do it on clean or dry hair because it just will never really be your friend. It's pretty much at my desired height and also slickness and I'm gonna scrunch it to give it some curl. I'm just gonna go in with whatever's left over on my hands and just run it through. And then sometimes I'll take a brush like this and just like extra flatten it out. Obviously you could do whatever you want with the ponytail, whether you want to braid it, put it in a bun, keep it in a ponytail, literally whatever you want. Okay, so now it's time for some makeup, a very light and natural glam. Starting off with the Dior Backstage Face and Body Drops. I'm gonna just put a little amount on my fingers. I think that rubbing in makeup with your fingers gives the most natural finish literally ever. And especially in the summer, that's what we want. That's the goal. So yeah, I just think that this stuff gives the most natural finish, especially when it's 
blended with your hands. I only put this on to kind of even out my skin tone because even sometimes with a natural tan from the sun, it can be blotchy and uneven because of the way that you're laying or if you put on your sunscreen the wrong way. There's just so many reasons why even a natural tan could be blotchy. So I feel like this is the best way to make your skin one tone and super even. So to bring some color back to my face, I go in with my literal favorite and something that I can just not live without, the Benetint. Oh my god. As you can see, I'm literally obsessed and I put four drops on each cheek. Blend in like so. I am a sucker for a blush. If you can't tell, I will just put this on every day for the rest of my life, literally. I can have no makeup on or have nowhere to be and I will put Benetit on my cheeks and my lips because I swear it is literally my saving grace and I don't know how I ever lived without it. A little on my nose to make it look like I just got a nice sunburn right across and then of course on the lips to give them some nice color. I literally love this shit so much. And next, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Highlight Wand, whatever this thing is called, in the shade Spotlight. I know it's probably sold out, but I'm sure you already know of a dupe by this point, but I'll leave some dupes linked down below. Super simple, but it adds a ton. And then I'm going to go in with the Glowgasm by... Charlotte Tilbury in Pinkgasm and just go over my cheeks a little bit. What I love about this is it has a little bit of like a shimmer to it. So it's kind of like a highlighty type blush. And then if I'm feeling even a little bit more frisky, I'll go in with the Nude Sticks blush in the shade Cherry Blossom Babe. And I blend this one in with the brush that comes with it. I feel like this just really helps to blend in all three blushes and this brush is just amazing. I love me blush, in case you can't tell. That's literally the product of the summer. And even if you don't have a tan or you don't lay out your face or whatever the case is, you can just throw on blush and instantly you look like you have the most summer glow and just you illuminate, you glow, and it's just amazing. I obviously brush up my eyebrows and just leave them be. I don't really fill them in. I feel like that's a winter thing, even though I don't really even fill them in in the winter. Last night, holy shit. Lastly, I'm going to be curling my lashes. I light the eyelash curler like so. Please be careful if you do this. Feel it, make it a little bit cool before you put it on your eyelid because you can burn yourself. Obviously with heat, it will curl better. So 